traditionally understood as a mysterious pulling force. Since Einstein, scientists have a new understanding of gravity. Most people know that it's the sun's gravity that keeps planets moving in orbits around the sun. What we're going to do here is we're going to take a little bit deeper look at what the nature of gravity really is. Now, Newton's first law of motion, law of inertia, says that an object moving in a straight line at a constant speed will keep doing so. So here in the overhead view, we're looking down at a flat surface. And if I take this ball, which represents a planet, and I roll it across the surface, and sure enough, it moves in a straight line at a constant speed. Now, Einstein said there's actually more to it than that. Einstein said that if you took a mass, for example, the mass of the sun, represented here by this plunger, that that mass had the effect of distorting the shape of space-time. Now, to us, it doesn't look distorted. If you look on the overhead shot, it still looks as flat as it did before, just like a chessboard, but in fact, it is distorted. And so now when I take my planet and I move it through this distorted space-time, it tries to follow a straight line, but there's no straight line available for it to follow. And so instead what it winds up doing is it winds up moving around the central object on an orbit. It's that effect of that curved space-time that we usually call gravity.